many times we heard soft iron core, hard iron core in many many physics and chemistry also. So now here we are going to study the same topic that is hard and soft ferromagnetic material. In fact all the soft and hard materials belongs to the ferromagnetic material which little bit of with the little bit of the differences. So we have studied in ferromagnetic material okay that the ferromagnetic materials get magnetized very easily and it will give a big passage to an external magnetic field and it will get magnetized. Similarly here let us consider the two magnetic material one is my iron okay this is my iron this is my iron and we know iron is ferromagnetic material and let us consider another material which is an alloy okay alloy okay alloy uh, let me write this as palm alloy P E R and palm alloy Okay, this is made of 80% of nickel and 20% of iron. So this is my two magnetic material. And both this magnetic material represents the same thing that is ferro. Okay, so this is my ferromagnetic material as well as iron is my ferromagnetic material. Now whenever I put a magnetic field then what happens is we have seen that the magnetic field lines will pass like this okay magnetic field lines will pass like this it means the magnetic field lines will allow by the ferromagnetic material like this the diagram that I am uh, making here maybe the difference with little bit of difference with the diagram that I have made in the previous lecture of ferromagnetism or ferromagnetic material. Similarly, if I give magnetic field here also, the magnetic field will pass through this one. Okay, the magnetic field will pass through this substance which is my form alloy, which is the made which is made from the 80 percent nickel and 20 percent of iron so this is the scenario when i place these two things in an external magnetic field or external magnetizing field now we have seen that let us remove the field okay remove the field okay in both the case here also and here also now what do I get? I will again get this. This is again iron. Same problem. Okay. And here also I will get this alloy, which is my foam alloy. Foam alloy. Okay. This is an example of actually the soft iron. So now what happens is whenever I remove this external magnetic field, okay. So this is magnetic field. This magnetic field is magnetizing magnetic field H. Anyways, here whenever I remove this, okay, whenever I remove this, I mean I remove the magnetic field, what happens is there is magnetic field, okay, magnetic field, magnetic field exists, okay, but being this is also a ferromagnetic material in form or oil, magnetic field, magnetic field do not exist. When exist E X I S T when we remove the external magnetic field. So this is the two main difference between soft iron and hard, I mean soft material and hard material. So what does this mean is that this iron is my hard material okay and this is my soft material so let me tell you the things so in iron it is giving a passage to the external magnetic field in palm alloy also it is giving the passage to the external magnetic field and we remove the external magnetic field and we saw that this has got 
magnetized and magnetic field exists. It means that it is magnetized, isn't it? So it has got magnetized. Magnetized, okay? No, not magnetized. Okay? So these are the two things. This will get magnetized and this will get mag not magnetized. Magnetized means magnetic field is existing. There is existing magnetic field even after the removal of the external magnetic field. What does this mean? So if there is the mag magnetized, if the material get magnetized or if the magnetic field there exists even after the removal of external magnetic field, then this kind of material is called hard material. It means that it has got very high retentivity. Why? Retentivity means the it has retained the magnetic field. So it has retained the magnetic field. Very important magnetic field that is high retentivity. Okay, high retentivity. Please remember the hard material have high retentivity. High retentivity it will retain the magnetic field within the material. But here is no magnetic field. It means that there is no retention of external magnetic field. So mainly there is no retentivity. Here in hard material, the magnetic field exists, that is the magnetic field is retained here. It has high magnetic field and it has no magnetic field. So these two are the soft and hard magnetic material. Now, we have studied that in a core of solenoid, we must have soft iron core. In the core of the moving coil galvanometer, we have to have a soft iron core. Why? We explain this in the next